And the reason the Namibians have got it is because the water, the Chobe Channel, runs down the bottom of it. So the Namibians have access to it and the Botswanans don't. But this is driving along the road here. This is a very typical sight to see along the road, along the main road. Herd of elephants just charging across the road. And they have some big herds up there. Through the park itself is all roads like this. It is uh, deep, sandy, <coughs> overgrown, but beautiful vegetation. And I think we're going to go to the tented camp. Ah, yes, it's shower time. Uh, as you get into this more remote area, the camps in general tend to go one or two ways. They tend to go extremely luxury or extremely rustic. So you don't skimp out on uh, you know, things like water and food and electricity, but the camps themselves are quite basic and not to everybody's taste, but they do give a very, very nice attached to nature feel. So this is the tented lodge. So they've built it on stilts because often the water fills up to here. So when the river floods and, the, and, the, and it expands, the water comes up. So they're all built on stilts, so sometimes you can be completely surrounded by water. Um, but the views look over into the river and onto Botswana. Now, can anybody spot where the hippos graze? <laughs> uh, it's not cut, that is just where the hippos eat. So the hippos come out every night and munch on the grass, but they've got their boundary as to how close they'll go to. I don't know if the lodge had a word with them and said they mustn't scare the guests, so come up to here. Or where the hippos are going, they're humans, I'm only going this far. You know, it could be either way. But that's where the hippos come out every night and graze on the grass there. That's just very beautiful. But, uh, and literally, that is Botswana. <laughs> and that's the top of the Botswana Delta. The rooms, beautifully equipped. Fans, uh, not 24-hour electricity. Um, they're comfortable, spacious. The one thing that uh, two people do queer about is, I think we're going to go and see the shower. Oh, first of all, the toilet, wash basin. This is the shower. So the shower has no roof and only one wall. Um, and looks out onto the river into the bush. So they've grown, they've, you know, they've built up the trees and everything around them and, and built them so, but you basically just stand on the deck and shower outside. And that's the view you have from your shower. And water is heated by a donkey. We had the donkey discussion before. Everybody knows what a donkey is now, apart from a four-legged animal, big ears. Water heating donkey. So here's. They heat by donkey, so they build the fire, heat the water for your shower. But, uh, do you build it yourself? No, generally they will come and do that for you in most of the lodges. They'll heat it up. Um, they'll sometimes ask what time you want to have hot water, um, or you can ask them and they'll put it on for you. But it takes about 20, 30 minutes to heat the water up in the tank. But we're still talking a hot part of the country because... Um, Kate, where's Kate? Oh, there's Kate, sorry, Heidi. Kate's from Limpopo, which is, would you say Limpopo as a bit north of Mpumalunga? Hotter or colder than here? It's hot. Hot. So if you're going from here to Limpopo, it's much hotter. Now here, we've gone above the Tropic of Capricorn, and we're heading towards the equator. We're a lot further north here. So the whole area is hot in the winter and really hot in the summer. And it's humid, which is unusual for Namibia because you've got all this water around. So it is a very hot, having said that, it doesn't get to the Namib desert temperatures hot. So um, it doesn't get to like 40 degrees. It gets to about 35, 36 degrees, but it does that all year. And the minimum temperatures, summer temperatures, it can dip to 30 degrees at night. <laughs> So, and uh, in, you know, cold temperatures, maybe 26 degrees is cold, which is why you, of course, need a nice fire pit to sit around but, uh, and enjoy. And yes, you're basically gazing over into Botswana, and that's the top of the uh, delta there. So you could literally just walk across into Botswana, crocodiles permitting. But this is why you go to this area, just the remoteness, um, the absolute sheer beauty of the area, um, some of the game drives, Impala, I'm sure you've never seen them before. <laughs> but in Namibia, Impala are rare. Elephants, which are not rare up there, but you will see a lot of elephants. Beautiful breeding herds, uh, of course, baboons. And it's interesting, in this part, the, all the lodges, none of them have problems with baboons. 
They don't come into the camps um, because they're never fed by the public. Fish eagle with a fish. So you a lot of fish eagle. Fish eagle without a fish, but his friend the kingfisher is offering him one. <laughs> so yes, the birding and bird life is superb. And yes, going around by boat is definitely the best experience. It's beautiful to go out. Um, you do need a local guide and a local boat to know where to go there because it's just a maze of waterways and of course hippos, crocs, elephants are crisscrossing these areas all the time. And then uh, heading out the park, this is just to show you the sort of road and the main exit um, for people who like bridges. 